All right, so today we're going to be tying a fly I could call the high water worm. It's basically a San Juan worm that uses a couple different body materials. Uh, there's a lot of ways to tie San Juan worms. This is one of my favorite ways. Um, some materials we're going to be using are going to start off with uni thread 8 aught in red. We're going to start that thread a little back from the B, I guess the half point, halfway point on the shank, you could call it. And then nip that off, nip off your tag end there. And work your thread well back onto the bend so you get a nice curve. It's pretty too far. And right about there. And then for our worm section, we're going to be using Pearl Core Braid Red. Before I get too far, this is going to be tied in a scud hook, as um, specifically at time code 2457 in size 8. And the bead I'm using is a Spirit River Orange Hot Bead in 532nd. So continuing from there, and cut off a couple inches of your body material and tie it on securely at the back so it won't shift around or spin around your hook. Then once you've done that, work your thread forward to right behind the bead and then tie it down again. And then just wrap over this material all the way back to the rear tie-in point. So right about there. And then to cover that up, you're going to use a material called Midge Diamond Braid in just red color. And you can tie this fly in brown or tan using root beer colored um, diamond braid for the body material and same root beer for the butt for the uh but you're winding over it. Just work your thread back up. Half hitch it. All right, then you're just gonna start winding this. This is a nice material because it makes a nice flat body and isn't too bulky, so you can work with a nice taper. So then you're just gonna wind it up, covering up all that thread and whatnot. And when you get it right to the bead, you're going to wind back down most of the way, doing your best to make it taper. About there. Wind it back up. And then you're going to wrap a few times in between the bead and the chenille to help kind of make that end stand up. And now you're just going to tie off the diamond braid about three wraps behind it and then one in front. Cut that off. One more wrap. Kind of position your bead. Sometimes they like to slide around. And then just get your whip finish tool and do two five turn whip finishes. There's five. And one, two, three, four, and five. And nick off your thread. You're just going to take a kind of look at it. I'll use like a little shorter in the front. So I'm going to cut some of that off. Just a tiny bit of that. And then you're just going to take a cigarette lighter and melt your diamond braid so it doesn't come unraveled in the water and to kind of taper the end so it's like a real worm and then head cement your fly and there you have it the high water worm